Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the chat. This is the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. Dogecoin. Is Dogecoin getting ready to take off like a rocket? We're going to leave this video out with one level. Uh, we're actually going to take a sneak peek on our last post. Yes, I realized that we had a interesting tone on the last video. I'm going to explain that as well. And we'll get into it and make it short and sweet. So, yes, we're going to explain the one level in this line in the sand. If Dogecoin is actually getting ready to take off like a rocket, let's say it's getting to it, guys. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Welcome in all of our new subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. Show me. So today is January the 15th, 2022, and the current price of Dogecoin is 18 cents, slightly positive 3.5% for the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it here. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so those are the lines. On our last post, if you didn't watch it, I'll leave a link for you. Um, January the 5th, 2022, we got 487 views. Thank you all. 55 likes. Uh, thank you for the support, guys. And all of the comments out in the comment section, you guys are always supporting the channel. I appreciate you for that, okay? Now, one of the things that I'm noticing is the 16 cent level has been accomplished as we explained on the video, guys. You see the 16 cent, that blue line right there? I think at the beginning of the video, it was actually below that level. Um, and you see that white line there? See on, the, on this chart there, that white line? Uh, that is the two levels that we left you guys out with on the last video. So some may be asking, the uh, uh, Napoleon, I heard on your last video, you said it could go down to 17 cents. I sold all of my Dogecoin. No, kind sir, please understand that this is not financial advice, guys. Please do not use this as financial advice. Uh, one may ask, do I still think that Dogecoin could go to seven cents? Uh, we'll get into all that here. So since Dogecoin has accomplished the 16 cent level, that was the first thing. Check mark for one. Okay. The second thing is let's pull up the 50 exponential moving average right there. Okay, perfect. So you notice how as soon as there was a close above that 16 cent level, we're looking at the daily candles, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see this. See, when it, as soon as it closed above that 16 cent level, like it immediately just kind of exploded and blasted through the uh, 50 exponential moving average. The white line here is a 50 exponential moving average. So I don't want this to be a long video, guys. Let, let's put the line in the sand. So let me explain the reason why I say that this is the line in the sand. So what we look for on this channel as well is buyer commitment candles and according to the daily candles here let's actually erase everything get rid of everything for now i want you guys to see this buyer's commitment candle i think some of you know how to find them now this candle right here on january the 14th is considered a buyer's commitment candle now when you see this type of candle enter the market uh followed by volume right you see all that volume down at the bottom portion of the screen see that bottom see that volume bar right there so when you see this type of gesture into the market what you do next is well just kind of you know psychologically picture in your mind okay say okay someone has committed to buying up a lot of cryptos and the way that you know that is because you'll see the large shadow at the top of the candle you see this large shadow so this means someone actually you know when in someone some institution i'm not sure who the guys but they committed to hitting that buy button and they bought up all the cryptos uh, from the open and the close of this candle. So the low of this candle is going to be uh, 17 cents and it reaches as high as 21 cents. So someone committed to buying all the cryptos within that range. Stick with me, guys. It makes a lot of sense. OK, now, since we found the buyer's commitment candle, the next thing that I do is I put a horizontal line at the close of the buyer's commitment candle right there. Now, the reason that I do that is because if you think of it from you know a practical standpoint, if someone's committing to buying up all of these cryptos at that specific level, they should be able to hold the line at the close of that buyer's commitment candle, which is, if you see it on the screen there, is 0.1819. So if I'm under the assumption that these buyers have good intentions and they want to continue to propel this crypto market higher, they must hold this line okay because that's where they started to well that's where the market closed and that was i don't want this to sound confusing guys that's where the market closed so the close of that candle should act as support if that level acts as support the point 1819 level the close of the buyer's commitment candle if that level can act as support then naturally what happens is the market gravitates to and possibly through the wick of the buyer's commitment candle showing that the markets 
are uh, in good intentions. The, the buyers who committed to buying that the assets are have good intentions. And the market wants to continue higher to and through the wick of that buyer's commitment candle. Hopefully I explained that well, guys. Did the best I could with that. So that's basically where we are. Let's see. Let's put it like kind of 21 cents right there. And that's all that I have for this video. So hopefully we're uh, clear in terms of the line in the sand. Uh, did we say we're going to go over something else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So let's see if the buyers who committed to buying up the asset on January the 14th have good intentions. And you'll see that 18, 19 level continue to hold. I did. I think I did mention that. Do I think that it can go down to 17 cents? <clears throat> guys, I am always open to market fluctuations and volatility. The moment that you uh, say that you don't think that any asset, cryptos, it doesn't matter, any asset, when you say that, oh, it'll never go down or it'll never go high, that's, you're, you're limiting yourself to an opportunity to learn more. Because the moment that you say something won't happen, you won't be open to it actually doing it, right? So, for example, do I think uh, Dogecoin could go down to 17 cents? I am open to that, so I think that anything is possible. I'll just say that, guys. I do think, and I think that the practical level below 16 cents uh, is all the way down to 17 cents. That's not going to change. Although we just went over the line in the sand from the buyer's commitment candle, which is 1819, that will stay the same in terms of understanding whether or not Dogecoin is getting ready to take off like a rocket, as the title suggests. That's the one line in the sand that we're, we'll leave the video out with. But please understand that if there is a point in time that Dogecoin is starting to show some signs of weakness and it is starting to uh, close daily candles below the 18, 19 level, if it closes below 16 cents, my thesis stays the same. I am not backpedaling. I am staying very consistent with the levels as the price and volume enters the market. So therefore, I do think that markets fluctuate and they can get as low uh, as seven cents in the Dogecoin market, and I do think that Dogecoin could get as high as the uh, the all time highs. Okay, I think it could go up and down. No, I'm not a genius for saying that, guys. I am taking this market one day at a time, understanding the daily candles as they close, as they walk up the stairs, right? And if they are starting to walk down the stairs, I'm taking the levels into consideration to understand the ebbs and the flows. Okay, so when I say it can go up or down. I'm not saying that because I want to sound like a genius. I'm taking it one day at a time and understanding the close of each individual daily candles is what I'm focusing on for now on Dogecoin. And that's in the video. To summarize everything, guys, 1819. Let's see if we can continue to get consecutive daily candles to close above that level. And then I think Dogecoin is in preparation or getting ready to take off like a rocket. Uh, higher targets. Um, I don't necessarily have any higher targets unless... Um, Let's say Dogecoin holds 1819. I see a conservative price target of like 24 cents. So from the current level up to like 24 cents, that's about a 30% move to the upside. Please do not take that as financial advice. And I realize Dogecoin could potentially get as high, you know, extremely higher, but that's my conservative shot at a price target. And that's all I have for you, wonderful folks. Hopefully you enjoy that. Hopefully this wasn't too long. So if you guys enjoy the video, before you go, you can support the channel by leaving an appropriate thumb. I would truly appreciate that below the video. Also, leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video on the channel. Thank you for your support. Now, if you guys are new, before you go, we also explore traditional stocks throughout the week. You can kindly join us here on this interesting journey, intense journey at times. And we'll send that out to you momentarily. Hit the bell, of course, after you subscribe. Welcome in. All right, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter. Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon. And... Bye for now, guys.